Deep breath in through your nose. Out gently through pursed lips. Deep breath in. Blow it out. Deep breath in. I want you to close your eyes. I want you to take your hands and rub them up and down your forehead. I want you to feel the bone on bone of your fingers to your skull. Go faster. Deep breath in. Let it out. Deep breath in. Open your chest. Let it out. Bring your neck to one side. And the other side. And all the way up. And all the way down. All right. Today is day number 41. Day number 41. And today and tomorrow are like the last days of summer camp. Except they're the last days of boot camp. That doesn't mean it's the end. It means that it's time for you to accept the torch that I am about to pass to you. This is about a passage. It is about a rite of passage. 42 days ago, correction, 41 days ago, you were at point A. You got from point point A to point B to point C to D to E point F and G and H and I and J and K then to point L M N O P Q R S point T point U point V point W X Y and point Z and you still came another 15 points, another 15 days, to which we could say, now I know my ABCs, next time won't you sing with me? Today and tomorrow are, are rites of passage. It is time for me to pass the torch to you and for you to accept the torch and to run with it. You are ready. Because if you weren't ready, you wouldn't have come this far. Nobody gets to day 41 who isn't ready. Nobody gets to day 41 who isn't ready. So now is the time to ponder. And this is why I want you to warm things up on the cranium to get things ready, to get that activity rolling. I want you to start pondering, thinking, feeling, breathing, neutrifying through eating healthy foods, meditating, asking what is next for you, asking what the universe has in store, but not necessarily accepting blindly the path that it appears that you maybe should be on because 41 days ago, you were likely on a very different path than you were now. 41 days ago, you were waiting for somebody to rescue you. You were dug in, you had given up. 
you were waiting for somebody to rescue you, or the opposite, you were waiting for the elements to have their way with you, whether those elements be rain or snow or sleet or COPD or pulmonary fibrosis or pulmonary hypertension or anything else, okay? But you took the first step on day one and you haven't stopped stepping. So what this tells us is that you have the ability to choose for yourself whether or not you are going to do something and what, if anything, it is that you are going to do. You have the power to choose. You have the power to make a decision as to whether or not you learn to take your medications properly. You have the power to make a decision as to whether or not you're going to exercise every day. You have the power to make a decision as to whether or not you're going to manage your stress, anxiety, and depression, or are you going to let those, or, 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 or are you going to let your stress, anxiety, and depression manage you. You have a choice to take care of yourself and prevent infection. You have many choices, many, many choices. You don't have to do anything that you don't want to do. And I want you to make decisions based upon who you are as a person and where you've come from and where you've come to and what you have learned about yourself along the way. So I want you to ask yourself and give some thought, give some meditation, give some energy, give some breath, and ask yourself, what am I gonna do now? And to just t give a little thought and what I want you to do now is I want you to ask yourself. And what I want you to do now is I want you to close your eyes and in your mind, look back at how far you've come and how you've kind of went up and down and up and down. You bobbed, you weaved, you kept coming, you kept coming, you kept coming, you kept coming. And look, now the new you is coming into sight. And I want you to ask yourself, and I want you to share it with the group. I wanna know what have you learned about yourself during the course of this journey, during the course of this 42 day boot camp, which so far is 41 days up. And I want you to ask yourself, now that I have this newfound ability, the ability to take my medications properly, the ability to exercise for longer and more vigorously and with less stress and less shortness of breath and less anxiety. Now that I've learned to eat better and I'm starting to feel the effects of what it means to plant healthy seeds in my body. Now that you know how to manage your stress and your anxiety and your depression. And now that you know the things you need to do to take care of yourself, I want you to ask yourself, what is next? What is the next step? How am I going to take all of these things that I've learned? Okay. And I'm sorry to, to tell you this people, but we have now, you know where we are? A lot of people think that we are coming to the end, to the finish line. No, we are now at the starting line. We are now at square one, ground zero, starting line, waiting for the referee's pistol to go off. Because now is the beginning, okay? And so I pass you the baton, I pass you the torch, and I throw down the gauntlet, and I say, show me what you got. Give me what you got. Give yourself what you got, because you deserve it. You fought long and hard. You've come through the battle. For some, it's been harder than others. For some, it's been easier than others. But we are still here. We march together. And we continue to march. And so again, I pass you the baton. I hand you the torch. And I throw down the gauntlet and the challenge. And I challenge you 
to take these tools, to take these materials that you have and continue to build on the base that we have established. Continue to build on this foundation because this foundation is strong. And guess what? Like a foundation, as time goes on, as you and as you continue to water this project, the foundation will settle and get stronger and get deeper and get more supportive and be more at peace and be safer and breathe easier, okay? You have come a long way, my friends, okay? You didn't know where you were going. And let me be upfront with you at the back end. I wasn't 100% sure either. I wasn't 100% sure. And that's why I said to you, if you're not satisfied, I will give you your money back. And that's why I haven't spent any of the money yet. Because I wanted to make sure that I could get you across this ocean and arrive on the shore at the other side in one piece and ready to build this new land, ready to settle this land, ready to settle this new body, ready to settle this new mindset, ready to settle the new spirit, ready to settle your health and wellness and well-being and peace and calm and energy and positive flow and happiness and love and life and live. This has been as amazing for me as it has been for you. And I thank you for that. And I appreciate you for that. I thank you for your trust and your faith. And I thank you for your daring and your courage in taking the first step with me. Okay, I will never forget that. I will always be grateful. Have a great day, my friends. Tomorrow is day 42. And tomorrow is victory party. And pack your bags. We're heading home. Have a great day. Yes, we can.